Marcellus, I'll start with you. Am yeah. I crazy for thinking the Texans are the best team in the AFC? Yeah, you know you're crazy. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's just, I don't even know why we do this. Do we really get so bored with success that we just can't give people their props, keep the crown on the Patriots like it belongs? They ain't beat nobody. Oh, oh it, ooh, woosah. They've won three of the last five Super Bowls and was in year? another one with the best coach and the best quarterback all time with an all-time defense this year and haven't lost a game. They haven't beat anybody? You can't take them out of their position, their pole position, until you defeat that team. And there's no team that has shown up consistently to say that we're ready for a Bill Belichick-led team in the playoffs. I was just watching uh, some, some old tape of the Buffalo Bills and their pursuit to four Super Bowls. And people remember Belichick was on the Giants squad, defensive coordinator. And I remember hearing Jim Kelly and Thurman yeah. Thomas talk about that K-Gun offense that was unstoppable until they saw Belichick. And he came out with a 2-4 defense. And they were like, what the hell is that? Didn't know what to do with it. Belichick always has a wrinkle that others don't know what to do with. Sean McVay found out the hard way last year. Three points in the Super Bowl. So just remember, when you see Eric Belichick when it counts, <laughs> Sean McVay, and when you see <laughs> Belichick when it counts, things are different. So no, until you beat them, you're not the best. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I, I got to keep the sentiments of Marcel is going. No, they have not done something of significant value to say that they are the best team in the AFC. Maybe it is. Let me based- stop you for one go, moment. Go, Ooh, go. This is a prediction. Cool. I'm talking about what's going to happen yep. at the end of the season as it progresses. I'm not talking about what they've proven beyond a shadow of a doubt because they can't do it to the postseason. I'm with you. It's a prediction. I felt the same way about Mike Tyson right before he lost to Buster Douglas. I would have never, so I'll say to you, maybe it's possible, but as it stands right now, there would have been no way I would have picked Buster Douglas to beat Mike Tyson. Mm. Right now, to mm. me, New England is still Mike Tyson. They, they, they don't have a Robin Givens, as, as I can see, so everything <laughs> is, is straight for them right now in terms of operationally speaking. I, I really don't see any weak points in this New England team. I love team. his analogy, but I'm going to tell you Thank where you. he's wrong. Uh-oh. I love you. Not. Thank you. Houston's not Buster Douglas. They're mm. Vander Holyfield. Mm. <laughs> I kind of like that, mm. and I like that because I like the way the Houston Texans are trending. I'm not saying they're the better team now, but I think they will be the better team by the end of the season. When you look at what the Houston Texans have been able to do, Look, I gave Bill O'Brien a lot of heat for making these trades before the, b- before the season. He gets Laramie Tunsil, short of the offensive line. He got two running backs, Carlos Hyde, Duke Johnson. Now they have balance in the backfield so they can run the ball. He also added Kenny Stills, who gives them a third wide receiver. Yeah. So when you look at their offense, they can do everything. Then on the defense side of the ball, Romeo Cornell is still fiddling around with this defense. But look, they play man-to-man which is going to be an albatross for the New England Patriots because their guys can't get away from sticky man coverage. I like how they're building it. The Houston Texans are going to be a problem. And the quarterback is the MVP of the league because he is playing mm-hmm. lights out right now. So. I just think that's out of bounds, man. man come go, on. Go, use your- <laughs> I mean, just the crystal ball that you guys are looking at is, is hazy at best because you can't predict that they're going to continue to grow and the Patriots won't continue to grow. Patriots are known notoriously to be slow starters. This year, they're not. So you now can't forget that this team could still improve off of a great start, a perfect start. They haven't shown weaknesses to the point of losing yet. Understand, their strength of schedule is not the best, but they're beating their opponents. And they're doing it at a mark that they're not used to doing. So when they grow on top of having an all-time defense, not a good defense, not a great defense, an all-time defense, giving up only eight points a game, what is Deshaun Watson and that offense going to do when they see that? Tom Brady. He declines yeah. at the end of the season. When Absolutely. we see at the end of the regular season, December, January, where it gets cold, you know how it is. When you're old, it gets cold. Mm. You just don't get as loose. It's, it's a little different. Yeah. So in a battle of quarterbacks, I think that has to go to Deshaun Watson. I am so, then so you're talking sick about and tired of people think. saying that right. Tom Brady declines at the end of the season. Well, he, he does. does. They he still does. win <laughs> the Super Bowl. Yeah. They still win. And here's, here's the reality of that. Whether he declines or not, Wherever those levels need to even out and balance out what the Patriots are, it happens. And that is a part of having a team, not just a player or a a, a, a They got a, a team over in Houston. That, but, they but, got a complete team. I'm just But listen. when when have they won the big game? I, I get Let, it. I get it. I can't, yeah. you can't sit there and you call him Evander Holyfield. How many big how many Ooh, big fights was Evander yeah, in yeah. before he fought Evander Mike Tyson? Was okay, but, but listen, with all the great champions, Mike Tyson. 
You hear about their rise. Oh, my God, there's this young guy coming. And that's all I'm saying about Houston. I'm t- and they're coming right now. And again, I jumped on their bandwagon last year, and they let me down because I, 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 I was too premature. This year, I'm not. I, I, but what makes you feel that? Where, where's the dominance? I'm I don't not, see the dominance okay, of this team. Mm. You get to my very next point. Mm. You didn't, I don't think you watched every snap of that game yesterday. I was literally forced to because my Sunday ticket streaming service was out. It was the only game I could watch. Pay your bills. And, no, no, no. It wasn't, <laughs> wasn't, 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 wasn't my fault. My streaming was, was working. <laughs> that should have been a blowout. Oh, Deshaun man. Watson dropped dimes on William Fuller. Yeah, he three did. He did. three he did. that yeah. should have been virtual touchdowns. Mm. That game was supposed to be a blowout. Mm. And it would, if we had been sitting here and they had won by 17, going into Arrowhead Stadium with the Chiefs desperate, never having lost two in a row at, or hadn't lost two in a row at Arrowhead in quite some time. I think the narrative would be different and you would appreciate just how impressive this kid was. They kept trying to blitz this kid and every time the ball was out on target, first down, move the chains. And I would say, hey, quit blitzing the dude. Just just take, you're not going to get a rush on him, drop into coverage and just hope and pray. But if you keep blitzing him, he's going to keep blitzing you. So Will Fuller's dropping passes in a meaningful game in October, what do you think he's going to do in January? Thank then? you. Like, Come how on. much confidence? I'm not saying Come he's going to do it, but I'm saying this. Come on, talk about Here's it. Here's what on. I want to see. Come this on. is the heavyweight fight that I want to see. Bill Belichick versus Bill O'Brien in Foxborough in January. Who's going to win who's that? Who's going to win that Come one? Come on, man. All right, we already know who's going to win that one. So let's talk about No, why. we don't. Yeah, yes, we, yes do. we do. This kid is different, man. There's a reason why Ooh. Dabo Sweeney called him Michael Jordan. Is different. This dude is different. Hey, I love you guys, but... This is a team game. And the reason why the Patriots have the most success is simply this. Coaches used to always tell us this. More games in the NFL are lost mm-hmm. than won. Come on, True, now. true. Come on. We are not going to beat ourselves. You can say Tom Brady's declining. You can sit there and say we well, can't get off sticky Great man point. coverage. Mm-hmm. Come Great on. Point. We ain't going to lose this game. We ain't going to have Will Fuller's doing that. So if you can't beat us, mm. we certainly not going to beat ourselves. And that's where I think they can because – J.J. Watt, again, not the same as defensive player of the year, mm. but still requires the double team, still a disruptive force. Mm. They can play enough defense, and this kid with these receivers, the t- they got nice tight ends, great play calling, I-, I thought yesterday. He can beat you with his legs. He doesn't try to force you with his legs. This kid's different between the ears. It's different. Man. We've seen this because I remember, like, it's funny because, look, I know college is different than the pros, but we heard the same thing. Oh, they can't beat Alabama. They're the big machine. Yeah, yeah. They're the big monster. Yeah. Until he slayed the, the monster. Yeah, he did. Somebody has to get slayed. At some point, someone's going to have to slay the Patriots. I'm saying the Houston Texans are going to slay the Giants. It's Giant. not going to be the Houston Texans. And, and I, like, I like the arguments that you guys are giving. But when you look at this New England Patriots team, we're, not, we're talking about the Chiefs' defense. What about New England's defense? They, they are boasting one of it the best great. defense. They, they, it's better than great. It looks elite. And it, looks, and it, it is elite. elite. I just can't look at this New England Patriots team. Against teams who can't. And you have New England Patriot <laughs> disciples. Like, okay, Bill O'Brien was at his best when he was with the Patriots. Mm-hmm. Romeo Cornell had a great, great run with the Patriots. They go and they take over this team. I look at them as a, an extension of that coaching tree and that mentality and that thought process in Houston. But it's still a matter of coming against a team that has proven over and over again, time and time again, and even for now, that they are capable of getting up for those big games. And if Texans, if the Texans turn out to be a big game, you would be crazy to think that the New England Patriots cannot raise their game and their level to be able to beat the uh, the Texans in one game. Last time we saw the Texans in a big game, last year, playoffs, at home, mm. Colts, 21-7, mm. Deshaun Watson, who's different between the ears, who is special. Mm-hmm. 69 passer rating, seven mm-hmm. points. Come on, y'all. Let's be real about this. It's a big Took leap. His lungs. And, oh, look. Took and his lungs. You were on the bandwagon last year yeah. prematurely. And because this is so fluid, y'all, this is October 14th, and we're talking Early. about the Texas. Come on now. now. You know, a couple Early. weeks ago, a few weeks ago, we were talking about the Cowboys. Oh, yeah. The Rams. Oh, yeah. Who else was up? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Eric Goff, Dak Prescott. Dissing the, 40, we dissing the 49ers. We sleeping on them. Mm. Uh, we crowning the Chiefs. Like, this is so fluid, so I think you're premature on another bandwagon. And, you know, keep riding until no, the wheels fall off. I wrote it last year. Mm-hmm. I'm riding it again because I'm right about this, this dude. <coughs> Michael Jordan took his lumps coming up as well. Bad boy. Sure <laughs> that. Sure the, that. The, 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 and that, that's part of the process. Dabo Sweeney is not wrong about this kid. No, he's not. And look, 
I, I love Patrick Mahomes, and I think Patrick Mahomes is slightly better than him. But between the years, right now, no one is better than uh, this, this kid, Deshaun Watson, and that's what you need against Bill Belichick. I think he'll be ready for that moment, and I think in early December, I think they actually play each other, and we'll get a little preview mm. of this. But I think the Houston Texans are the best team in football, in, in the AFC. Saints are the best team in football. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.